What's going on, YouTube? Um, so, as you guys may know, if you guys watch me or if you're, if you're new or whatever, um, haven't done one of these videos in a while, and these are one of the videos that everybody wants to watch, right? So, I figured I, haven't, I actually haven't done one of these in a couple months. Um, but, you know, just before I start, like, you know, after I do this video, I just... I just ask that please people like stop really asking me and asking me and asking me to do these videos because I'm going to do them in my own time like I can't do these videos every day I don't have stories like every day you know for the next 10 years like I don't have that so I have to somehow set these apart and if you guys have been watching me for a while like my videos like they're all different like every every time I put up a video it's going to be something different so um but anyways, having said that, um, yeah, uh, before I tell you, like, my main story, uh, shit, I had a funny story my friend told me, he said that happened to him a couple of years ago, and I wanted, <laughs> wanted to, uh, relay this to you guys, so, um, he told me, <laughs> I wasn't there, but he told me this, he was at a McDonald's, with a couple of his friends, and you know, they were all waiting there chilling, and they were waiting for people to come. So, you know, more people came. I, I don't know how many people. It, it was probably like my friend and like, and two other cars worth of people, right? So, you know, they all came, they're all chilling at McDonald's eating. It's late at night, you know, and they're all like, yeah, you know, what are we gonna do, whatever. And uh, I guess one of the one of the people there was this one chick. He said it was like this black chick. It was, uh, he said, like, she had, like, these, uh, feather scarves and shit, and she didn't say nothing. And so they all decided, like, oh, you know, let's go, let's go get some a drink, you know, let's go hang out. I don't know, man, you want to go hang out in some parking lot or whatever, right? Um, so what happened was they went, <laughs> they went, and, uh, after a while, you know, they, they all got some, some drinks, some, uh, I don't know, they started smoking, I, I don't know what they were doing, that's just what one of my friends were doing, right? So later on in the night, you know, they're all chilling, they're all chilling at a parking lot somewhere, and uh, my boy and like three of his friends were just chilling out, so they weren't even in the car. I guess a lot of people had left, and that one chick, that one black chick, she was like knocked out in one of my friend's cars. And she was, she, you know, she's all like this, right? She all knocked out. <laughs> and my boy, you know, he was outside with his friends. He was talking there. And then one, another dude that I knew, he was like, yo, man. Yo, I'm going to try to get with that chick inside of that car. You know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm to try to get with that, you know. You know I'm going to try to hit that. And uh, my boy was like, was like, all right, man, do whatever you do. You know, that's not, that's not my friend. And then another boy, was, and my, my other friend was like, well, I, I don't know her, that's not my friend either. And then my other friend was like, yo, dude, that's not my friend either. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> and it's like, yo, who, who is that bitch sleeping in the back of my car? My friend was like, yo, who the hell is that bitch sleeping in my car? Man, what the fuck? And this bitch is all knocked out, like, with feather, she got, like, feather scars, like, all knocked out, big ass bitch, all ugly and shit. And he's like, yo, get this bitch out of my car, I don't even know who this bitch is. So apparently what happened was, when my friends were all hanging out at McDonald's, since they were waiting for people to come, I guess this chick, this black chick was already there, and she didn't say nothing, but she figured that, I guess my friends thought that she was with another group of friends that they knew, but apparently they didn't, so when they all said, hey, let's go in the car, let's go somewhere, she just got up and went in, thinking that, you know, they were just being nice, and now this bitch is like, smoked up with him and drank with him is all like passed out in the back of the car <laughs> like all hurt looking like this feathers and shit I don't know what happened but I think he just kicked her out of the car and just left her there crazy bitch I don't know that was just a random story I thought that was hilarious man he just some random ass bitch dude what the f what are you doing in my car get out of my car who are you you know what I'm saying like anyways I'm going to tell you the story that happened to me when I was 16. Now, before I tell you the story, I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm not proud of what I did in this video, or in this story. Um, 
I'm not I'm not telling you the story because it was like the thing you should do. I'm more telling you this just to tell you and pretty much if you're around that age of 16 to not go around and do stupid shit like this. Um but you know at the time I, I felt like I was justified in doing it. But looking back it was pretty stupid and it, nothing came out of it. So all right, so this is what happened. When I was 16, here in Maryland, in order to get your driver's license, you got to freaking go through driving school. I don't know how many weeks or maybe a month. I don't remember. This was like 10 years ago. So after school, me and, we, me and one of my friends, we had to take the bus to the driving school. So one day, I think it was like maybe the first day of driving school, it was pouring rain. Like it was raining so hard. You do not understand how bad it was raining. So we had to wait for the bus. So what we did was we, I guess since it was raining, we knew what time the bus came, but we didn't want, the bus was kind of like a block away from my boy's house. And we didn't want to wait in the rain, we'd get soaked. So we kind of just waited wait in his house until it was like maybe like two minutes for the bus to come. Sure, sure enough, two minutes came and we're like, all right, let's go. So we started running to the bus stop and we see the bus. The bus had just come to the bus stop, and this pie like, I don't know, man, like, a hundred feet in front of us. So we start dipping to this bus, man, me and my friend. We're getting soaked. We run. As soon as we get to the bus stop, the bus closes its doors and starts driving away, right? And we're like, we're like shit! And so we can see the next bus stop. It's like, it's like a block away. And so we start running to the next bus, because the bus is all slow, so the bus is driving. And the bus, it actually stops at the next bus stop. And we're running, I'm telling you, we're so... Dude, I was rocking my Timberlands that day. I was rocking my wheat Timberlands that day. Not only could I not run fast, but it was wet as shit. We start running, so my friend is ahead of me. The bus stops, picks up some people. And we actually get there when the bus is still picking up people. My friend was, he was so far ahead of me. He was running so fast that when he got to the bus, when he got to the bus doors, he grabbed onto the bus doors and he slipped. He fell. And the bus driver just looked at him like this and freaking closed the doors on him and dipped. He just fucking left. Yo, I, oh my gosh. I saw that shit with my very own eyes. The doors were still open. My friend was right front. He slipped right in front of the doors, about to get in. And the bus driver just closed, looked at him, closed the doors, and left. He just he just drove away. And we were like, what? We, dog, we were just stood there like, what the hell? We were so... I don't... After that, I don't remember how we got back, how we got to that driving school. I think we waited for the next bus or something. We got to the driving school late. We were soaked. We were mad. And we remembered the bus driver's face. It was some big, fat, handlebar mustache bitch. Mother, whatever. Some fat dude, right? I mean, we're 16, so, I mean, we really, I mean, what can we do, right? We couldn't do much, so. I think the next day, it was actually a nice sunny day, the next day. Me and my friend was like, man, screw this. We're gonna, we're gonna somehow, like, fuck this bus up the next, when it drives by the neighborhood. We're gonna fuck it up. So we decided to wait for the bus at some corner. And as soon as we see the bus, if it's the right bus driver, we're gonna throw huge-ass rocks at the bus. I'm talking about, like, boulders. Like, I don't know. It, we, we threw some hard, big-ass rocks, right? So what happened was we got this other dude from around the neighborhood. And we got him to, like, be further up on the block. And we told him, look, man, this is what the bus driver looks like. He's this fat, ugly motherfucker. Ugly as shit. Mustache. So when you see that it's him, you signal us to see that it's the correct dude. Because if it's the correct guy, we're going to throw freaking rocks at this bus. We're just going to try to just destroy this bus, right? So my friend was like, all right. Sure enough, the bus is coming. My friend's like, it's him, it's him. So <laughs> my friend... He, he had this big ass ride. He was going to throw right in front of the bus, like where the bus driver was at, so he could just toss that shit. And me, I was going to toss on the side of the bus. Now, before this, I thought, we thought, this is how stupid we are, right? This is how, somehow how stupid teenagers are. Well, we were. We thought if we throw the, we, we throw the rocks, it's just going to shatter the glass and everything's going to break. It didn't happen that way. So what happened was, the bus came, I'm on the side, my friend, we threw them at the same time. So my friend threw it, my friend threw his rock right in front of the bus driver, like, douche, 
right where he's driving, and I threw it on the side of the bus, right where like the passenger is. But the funny thing is, right when I was about to toss this rock, we were sitting like on a on like on, on the grass hill, right? We we're just sitting there waiting. And as soon as we saw the bus, we got up. And I remember I I, I was like I was like chucking back with this big ass rock, and I just remember seeing this Indian woman. I'm talking about this woman looked hurt. She looked like she just got back from. Hard labor, like she was like laying like on the like her head was like leaning against the window. She was like staring like this. She all like looking right. She all looking at me, and she saw me get up. I cocked back, and she just staring at me like this. And her eyes are getting bigger as I'm cocking back. I threw the shit out there. I threw that joint, and it was like right above her head. It was like right here, dude. I'm like, dude. And then the thing is, I I think it's like plexiglass or some shit, but it it. It left a huge ass dent and it just kept cracking. It didn't shatter or nothing. And I just saw that woman cock back. My friend threw his too. And we didn't even wait to see what the hell happened. We just dipped. We ran. We started hopping fences all the way back to my friend's house. And then we could kind of see what the what happened to the bus from his house. I guess the bus, everybody in the in the bus had to get out. The bus was like out of commission. They had to wait for another bus. And, uh... You know, at the time, we thought that shit was tight. Oh, yeah, man, we got the guy, you got to wait. But that was the dumbest thing that's ever happened. That's, <laughs> that was the dumbest thing I've ever done in my life. That's the stupidest, corniest thing I, I could even think about telling you guys right now. I'm telling you this because I know teenagers today still do shit like that. And for no fuck, no good reason. I'm going to tell you why there's no good reason. First of all... That fat bastard driver probably didn't even know that was us, alright? Second of all, what what good did it do to throw these rocks at the bus, make everybody in that bus get out? I mean, who knows? The people had to go somewhere, you know? They had to be somewhere at a certain time. Why punish them for something a fat bastard driver did to us? You know what I mean? And even so, we should have just let it go. But I'm not going to lie. At the same time, that bus driver had no right to fucking just... Stare at us, about to come in the bus when it's soaking, we're soaking wet, and just close the doors and just leave. I, I, we thought that was the, that shit was, I swear, dude, I want to, but yeah, man, that was, I felt bad for that Indian woman, you know what I'm saying, that bitch was probably working at a coal mine or some shit, she all tired and shit, all leaning, leaning against that window, just staring at me like this, you know what I'm saying, she all staring at me, I just tossed this shit out there. Oh yeah, and then another lesson is pretty much, bus drivers... Buses, the glass on that shit does not break. It doesn't break. Doesn't. We, I'm telling you, man, I threw like an onyx at that shit, and that shit didn't break. You know what I mean? Like, I tossed the shit out of that joint, man. It didn't break, so. Yeah, it's pretty protective buses, man. I'm not gonna lie. This was 10 years ago. But, that was the story. I'm still friends with that, you know, my friend, you know. I still, re- I still talk, uh, I really don't talk to him about it, I mean, we, it, was, it was something really petty and shit, but, you gonna make us miss driving school, I got my weak Tim's wet, they never recovered from that, man, you get swayed wet, it's over, sucks, but anyways, guys, that was it, that was my little story time shit, I do have some other stories, I got way better stories than that one, but I just wanted to get that one out the way, so then y'all could be... Y'all could get a video of this. So, anyways, guys, that was it. Once again, thanks for watching. Peace out.